Kathleen, this was quite the surprise, but do we know at this point what we can expect from Kazuo Ueda? Well, I don't think we can exactly. We know what the challenges are he faces at a time when policy normalization has to start at some point at the same time when many economists, many policymakers are, would agree, maybe not just yet and certainly not quickly, while the markets want to push against that, at least that's what they're doing for the last couple of months for Governor Kuroda. But let's talk about who he is, first of all. He is Kazuo Ueda. He was a policy board member uh, back 1998 to 2005. Now, in those days, he helped inter uh, in introduced uh, quantitative, quantitative easing, the bond purchase program for the first time. Uh, he also uh, helped vote in negative rates, and these are things that carried over into Abenomics and Corodonomics. Uh, asked just in the last couple of days when this news was uh, breaking that he is probably the nominee now from Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, he said current policy is appropriate, monetary easing needs to be continued at this point, and a policy review should be at some point done at some point. Point in the future. I think it's important to realize that we don't know if he's a hawk or a dove. Uh, we do know he'll be the first academic to head up the BOJ. Usually they, they, uh, they go back and forth between Bank of Japan, someone who's there, or someone from the Ministry of Finance. Now, uh, we also know that markets expect YCC to be scrapped sooner or later. Yield curve control has to go out the window. It's not working. That's the view of many investors. Uh, the LDP chief, just in the last 24 hours, Koichi Hagyuda, uh, said that uh, the, the LDP the government supports uh, monetary easing right now, so that's a, a signal that the government's probably still leading in that direction. And one big reason for this is that gov uh, Japan has a very large government debt. They are also introducing defense spending. That's going to cost a lot of money. If you have a big deficit that's getting bigger, do you want your interest rates, the financing costs, to go up just as you're trying to do that? That is a big con uh, consideration hanging over all of this. I'd also like to mention the two debt deputy governors because the woman uh, you go, uh, the, uh, who was considered maybe almost a shoe-in to be one of the deputy governors uh, didn't get it, but Ryoso Himino, who is former commissioner of the Financial Services Agency, uh, that means he's Ministry of Finance, okay, so he fills that, that, that uh, slot for the Bank of Japan for these choices. Uh, Shinichi Uchida, who's uh, Bank of Japan executive director, pl has played a central role in sh shaping the monetary policy, the Kuroda policy. He is one who will be considered uh, the guy who's maybe going to help Mr. Uh, Hueda maneuver what's next with the policies, the monetary policies. So a lot going on at, one at once, Heidi. Definitely a surprise, but it doesn't it feel like we're already getting used to it and trying to figure out just what's going to happen next?